Hello, my name is Adrian at First Thinkers. This is a tutorial on how to get your Easter math or phonics into your Google Classroom and shared with your students. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into the folder from Teachers Pay Teachers and open it up. And inside will be a document, a PDF that is called, that's labeled a Google Drive product link. Click on that, click on the link inside of it, and it will make it so you have your own copy. I have that right now in my Google Drive. First thing you gotta do once you have it in your Google Drive is right click on it, click on share. Go ahead on the bottom right and click on advanced. And right now it's set to private so no one can access it other than me, so I'm gonna change that. Now you can do it within on link with, um, with a link only within your district, domain, or outside to anyone. This is good if you have students that have their own personal accounts, using their own Gmail accounts, their Google accounts. This one is if you want to be more secure and you want to be only within your district. Uh, I use this one in my school district just because it's a lot more secure, okay? So click on save. Go ahead and click on done. All right, so now that we have the permissions saved for our students to be able to access it, we are now gonna go into our Google Classroom. So here's my test Google Classroom. I'm gonna click on create. I'm gonna do an assignment. All right, so this one, I'm just gonna call it Easter. And you can put any instructions you want for your students right there. I'm going to add from Google Drive right there. And right here is my Easter one that I was just talking about. So I'm gonna click on that. Double click it. Now right here, since this is a product that has movable pieces, you do not want to be where students can only view the file because if they can only view it, they will not be able to move any of the pieces. So you need to click on that and make a copy for each student. Because if you have students edit the file, they will all edit that one file and it will be a hot mess, okay? So make sure each student has an own, their own copy for this product, okay? All right, so I'm gonna change the points because I don't grade these. And this one will save to their Google Drive. And so you can go back and this will, Google Drive will save what they did. And you can see where uh, the progress they made on the assignment. It's really cool. I love Google Classroom for this. All right, so now that we have that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill it. oh, I wanna do a topic. So I'm gonna do this within. Now, I like to do my topics as the dates. So that's all nice and organized for my students to know what they need to do on each day. And so I'm gonna put on, I already created a topic. I'm gonna do it for, Actually, let me make a new one just to show you how you do it. Go to create new topic. And maybe I'll do this one for Sunday, April 5th. Okay. All right, so I'm going to click on assign. All right, then once it's done, now we see now on Sunday, April 5th, our students will have this Easter. So they're going to click on it and they will click on the Google slide. And now it just made me my own copy, okay? And so now your student can go in, and one thing I like to do is take this notes bar down. And now students can do their own math, so they can drag and drop, right, and do their work, okay? And like I said, all of this is saved in their Google Drive, and you can go into your, let me show you really fast. If you go into grades, Oh, I don't have any students on here. So you'd go into grades and it would show all of your students and if they've turned it in or not. And you can click on that and it will actually show you the file that they did to see if they actually did the work or if they just messed around. All right. Well, if you guys have any more questions, you can email me at customer support at firstthinkers.com. This is Adrian. Thank you so much.